You meet everyone on the dark net. Criminals, white hat hackers, black hat, three bags full hat, spooks, terrorists, money launderers, the military, banks, and the mere digitally curious. They're all battling it out, spotting or buying zero-day vulnerabilities, laying down sleeper viruses, herding bots in preparation for some future Armageddon. It's a seven-dimensional game of chess where you have only the vaguest idea of who your enemy is and what the hell they're actually up to. New dimensions are added the whole time. AI, blockchain, quantum computing. We're reaching a scale that humans can no longer comprehend. But to top it all, we are in a deep, deep political crisis, a crisis of leadership, and it is leading to serious conflict. The two biggest economies in the world, economies which are for the moment entirely mutually dependent on each other, are now on a collision course. And this has implications for financial stability, for growth, for supply chains, but above all else, this is a war about technology. And believe me, the gloves are off. Is it me or is it weird that one of the most bitter great power disputes in recent times concerns an app that consists mainly of people dancing like chickens or skateboarding dogs? The battle for Huawei is even more important. It goes to the very heart of the question, who will control the future? China policy is bipartisan. It's one of the few issues on which Democrats and Republicans agree upon. Every Chinese company like this is owned or controlled by the government. That's the way China works. So when you go on TikTok, China has your data. European Union members have generally sided with the US against China, but they have already begun a mighty assault on Google, Facebook and the usual suspects, which is not going down well either in Silicon Valley or in Washington. In recent weeks, Paris has been issuing large tax bills to the American digital giants, claiming they are exploiting loopholes to avoid paying their fair share. What this means altogether for those of us in the real world is that we can no longer rely on governments. We have to rely on ourselves. For business, the key to survival rests on two pillars. One is a swift but intelligent digital transformation. The second is a smart company-wide uh, cyber security strategy. Get these two things right, and despite everything, you will prosper. to say